Hello, beautiful family. I'm so grateful for this opportunity to come and be with you right now. <sighs> I just appreciate you and my life so much. And every time I make a video, I just have this overwhelming feeling of just like <sighs> we get to be together again it fills me up so thank you for being you and thank you for bravely walking on your path living your experience as yourself um, authenticity is at the top of my thoughts these days. And this morning when I was um, journaling, I read this quote by Ralph Waldo Emerson, and he said, Do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. And the prompt says, what trail have you created that you will leave for others? Wow. <laughs> How powerful. This actually reminds me of a, I don't know if quote's the right word, but it is a passage from King Arthur. There was a book. I, Anyways, King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table, they were out searching for the Holy Grail, the, the mystical, magical Holy Grail. Um, and no one has ever found it before. So they had to set out into the woods, but they had to find the darkest path they could find that no one has ever walked before because if you took a path that someone already took, you know that's not leading to the Holy Grail. It feels like a perfect metaphor for exactly this. In our lives, we have to be bold and brave and it's okay to be scared, but you have to push through anyways and you have to walk your path. Um, <sighs> I'll just read you what I wrote after this prompt. I said, I want to be an example of how to live for yourself. I want to be an individual. And then I use this example that has been in the top of my brain, but is a little bit hard to explain. So if you think of a golf ball, it's a round circle, and then there are all these divots around the entire thing. And in my mind, I see this golf ball and there's a light inside of it. And instead of these divots, there are holes. And out from this golf ball, is light shining in every single different direction from all of these little holes. And that is what I think of as the human experience. We are all the same light source. We all are made of energy that comes from the same source. But our perspective our experience is 100% individual because we are all a single individual hole or divot coming out. And so our, my light is shooting this way. Your light is shooting this way. Our neighbor's light is shooting this way. And for me to try and look at where your light is shining is madness. I can't do it. I'm just blocking off my light from shining there. And that's where I need to shine. <laughs> oh, yes. I really
really believe that at the end of the day, we're the ones who have to live in our own skin. So we have to do what's best for us. And we have to move boldly in the direction that we're called to move, that we're pulled to move towards. And only we know that, only we can listen and tune into that source of light. I was watching uh, YouTube this morning in bed when I was waking up and I watched an interview with a man and I forget his name, I feel bad, but he was with Keith on his deathbed. And he told a really moving story about how Keith was agitated and oh, obviously as one might be when they're dying. And this man held Keith and said, don't worry, brother, what you've created will keep going. And then Keith Herring was able to relax. And I think that is so powerful. What we create will keep going. We don't need to be a famous artist or a actor or rock star. We create things in our life every single day. We create love every single day by just showing up and being open and being our authentic selves. And once something is put into existence, it can never not exist. Um, I really don't see the world around us as a battle between light and dark, between God and Satan. I don't see it like that. I see it as we're living in a world where there is darkness, but we are conduits to the light. And we are conduits to unconditional love. And that light and that love displaces that darkness and that fear. So it doesn't have to be there anymore. We can clear out fear by just loving. And it, it has to start with loving ourselves. Um, yes, and to talk about my authentic self, just to touch on it for a moment, it's, I'm not one thing. I'm not just a daughter. I'm also a sister. I'm also a friend. And the same goes for creating. I'm not just a painter. I'm a massage therapist. I am a healer. I am I'm I'm a dancer. I am whatever I want to be. I'm a plurist. A plurist is a creative person moving in multiple disciplines. I heard that from the same guy who was helping Keith there at the end. And it just really resonated with me. A healthy person wants 10,000 things. A sick person wants one thing. So don't deny yourself peace or happiness or joy because you have to do one thing perfectly. Fail at 10 hundred thousand things and just do what brings you light, you know? <laughs> I love you so much. Um, I hope you got something from this. If you didn't, that's fine too. 
love you, brother. Tag out. <laughs>